Today we're making grain-free granola. Now what does that mean grain-free? Any ideas? Well that means we're not using oats. And that means that this recipe will be low in carbs. So if you want to cut your carbs a little bit, you're going to want to pay attention to this recipe because it's really delicious too. I'm also going to save you some money because if you were to buy a package of grain-free granola from the store, you get like an eight ounce package like you see here for like $7.50. That's pretty expensive. Well, now we're going to make a whole big sheet tray of it and it's going to be super delicious, nice and crunchy, just the right amount of sweetness. You can always play with that a little bit and you're going to love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so we start off here with chef joke number one, and I think we're going to have two, maybe three, in this video just because they're kind of cute. All right, here we go. What did one nut say to the other as he was leaving? <laughs> Cash you later. <laughs> okay, so let's get started by going over our ingredients. I just want to show you what they are at first, and you can sub in different nuts if you don't like some of these. You're free to do, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so first off, we have some shredded coconut here that's unsweetened, and that way we can control the sugar. I've got some uh, raw walnut pieces here. I got this from uh, Trader Joe's, has a nice selection. Not everything's organic, but uh, here we have some raw pecan pieces, raw sunflower seeds, raw sliced almonds, and some chia seeds. And you can also use uh, pumpkin seeds if you can find them as well. Now to season this up I'm using some cinnamon. I like cinnamon so I'm going to use, you can use anywhere between a teaspoon and two, uh, some vanilla extract, the real deal, and some salt. Now to sweeten up our granola I'm going to use a little bit of organic coconut sugar that you see here. I've got some coconut oil and a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of almond butter. So the first thing we're going to do in making this is we're going to get a saucepan and we're going to add to it our coconut oil our maple syrup, our coconut sugar, our almond butter, and we're going to heat that up. I have this on over low heat and it's already starting to melt, so we just want to get this nicely combined. And you can actually taste it. Once everything's melted and stirred together, you can go ahead and taste it and see how sweet it is and get an idea. Okay, and then once you turn off the heat, you can add about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. And the vanilla also helps to bring out more sweetness without actually adding more sugar. So now in our big bowl we're going to start putting all our nuts and the coconut into it. That's our co shredded coconut and if you like a lot of coconut you can add more. You know you can play with this recipe so it's it's however you want to do it. Here are your walnuts. Here's the pecans. Now some of these pieces are very large and maybe some of you like you know, like this is very large. Some of you like bigger pieces. I like to break them up a little bit. So I just get in there with my hands and I just kind of crunch them up because I like smaller granola. Now that I've got all these broken up into the size I want, I'm going to add some sliced almonds. Here's the sunflower seeds. And last but not least, some chia seeds. Next goes some cinnamon. Now, I like cinnamon, so I go a little heavier on the cinnamon than some people. Somewhere between a teaspoon and two. And a pinch of salt. That's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to mix that all up. And now it's time for our sauce to go right over the top. And you want to mix that up. Give it a good toss. My oven is preheating to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, which you're going to want to use just so it doesn't stick to your pan. So once the nuts are completely coated with the sauce, pour them onto the baking sheet. So spread the nuts out with the back of a spoon so that they're in a nice flat layer. I'm going to bake this in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes and we'll stir it about halfway through that time. I think it's time for chef joke number two. You ready? Here we go. What is a nut's favorite scary movie? Now think, think about this now. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> so here we are at 15 minutes into the cooking time and I'm going to give it a nice stir. You can see it's nice and golden brown already, but it still needs to go a few more minutes, you know, another 15 to get really nice and crunchy. I ended up cooking the granola for, you know, 
30 minutes at about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and it I'd stirred it a couple times and look at it's nice and golden brown it's perfect I'm letting it cool right now it's pretty hot all right let's take a little taste it's got a soft crunch it's not real hard and crispy flavorful I taste the cinnamon and the vanilla all those flavors together mmm delicious not too sweet I don't like it too sweet but if you like it sweeter than this and this is plenty for me add more you know coconuts uh, sugar or the maple syrup either one will do it this will keep you know a good two weeks maybe three weeks in the refrigerator if it lasts that long this is not gonna last very long I love to serve this over yogurt for breakfast this is so good you're gonna love this here's always a big question what's for dinner tonight well I think you should try my lemon basil chicken it is very delicious very easy to put together and you're gonna love it I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did let me know by smashing the like button all right and if you have any recipe requests let me know down in the comments I've had one recently for enchilada Souza so if that interests you I think I'm gonna check that out and that may be coming in the future thanks for watching again and we'll see you next week back here with another rockin recipe okay here's our last joke what is the worst nut for your diet a donut